is that here with section five, a lot of what we were doing before with the bar graphs is gonna still be true as far as even spacing and how high do we go and some of that kind of stuff. Um, but if we have a line graph, so a line graph, I wouldn't draw this in, but essentially we're talking about graphs that you know do something like that. And like I said, I wouldn't draw that in, but it shows how a lot of times on this x-axis down here, it's time. So that's the first line in the notes. Shows how data changes with time. So in one of my other classes, I did a line graph lesson and I had a, here's Mr. Falk's bank account, you know, and so it had like, you know, it's like going up, then oh, bought a bike, you know, and then it's going up and so on. Um, and I wouldn't draw that in either right now, but it's showing that, you know, as you go from like January 1 to February 1, to, or January 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you know, as you're going across the days, this is how much money you have by the line. Agreed? So that's going to be line graphs. Line graphs are pretty much going to be, you know, showing changes with time. Okay. So trend. Trend shows a clear direction on a graph. So it's a clear direction. on a graph. And I'm guessing, you will guess correctly, that if you have a positive trend, as you're going across the graph to the right, is it going to be going up, down, or kind of nothing, or horizontal? or So I had at least one up. So a positive trend is going to be something that's kind of generally going upwards. So I'm just going to draw a line kind of going up. So it could be steep, could be gradual. I would, i draw that in, something like that. It could start down at the, you know, it could start down here, it could be up there. Uh, it's not really going upward, but something that's going up. Fair enough? A negative trend line would be a line that's going down. down. So start somewhere and go kind of down, steep or gradual. Now, if you were to have no trend, a lot of times people for no trends, I wouldn't draw this, they'll do like a horizontal line. But that is a trend, it's just not really changing, you know, but instead, this is going to be like a whole bunch of dots. You know, if we were to go through and take like the quiz grades you earn tomorrow in your shoe size, does your shoe size have really anything to do with your quiz grade? No, not really. No. So if we have like shoe sizes down here on the x-axis and your percentage here on, well, hopefully there's a lot more high numbers, uh, but um, you know that is not connected. It wouldn't be possible to draw a line through those dots and say, hey, look, most line, most of the dots are going in that direction. You know, because that's not any better than a line that would be going like that. that Fair enough? It's just kind of like random dots. Okay to keep going? Mm -hmm. And you'll get graphs that have dots, you know, maybe something like this here, and they'll say, hey, draw a trend line through these dots, you know. So you want a line that's kind of about through the middle of the dots. Or here's some dots, draw a trend line, you know, through some of those dots. Try to get a line that's about through the middle of the dots, go in the direction the dots are going. Okay. Very last thing is we just want to do one of these things here. I'm well, do you want to do attendance? Or you want to do goals? Goals. Goals works for me. See if we can real quickly get something like this down. So, time is going to go the year. Is that going to go on the x axis or the y axis? X axis. So, I'm maybe going to start from 1960. I'm trying to figure out how can I break that up nicely going all the way from 1962 to 1994. I'm even going to do 1960 to 2000. Does that work for you? Yep. Yeah. So now we need to have a 1970, 80, and 90 in there. So we're looking at kind of, well, 1980 would be right in the middle. We have a 1970, 1990. We do those. And maybe should we just put in like the five? So 65 would be halfway between 65 and 70. 75 would be there. 85, 95. Because we can pretty well estimate the other, the other ones from there. Agreed? Yeah. And did you guys see we're doing goals? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so goals. So we need to, wow, they're all like upper twos or in twos and threes. So maybe, should we start at zero or do a broken axis? I could be convinced to do either. Okay, I can do zero. So zero up to three. Then we can put a one and a two in between there, right? Maybe a one and a two. Does that look pretty believable? My one might be a little high. Maybe try to make that a little bit lower. So 
So one and two. And now it would just be a matter of putting the dots on there. So 1962, if this is 60, this is 65, 62 is going to be a little less than halfway, agreed? Yep. We need to go up to 2.8. So 2.8 is maybe right about there. Mm -hmm. Look about right. So I'm going to put a dot then right about there. In 1966 is the same 2.8. So that'd be 65. So a little bit past 65, go straight up to the same height. So right about there we want to put our dot. In 1970, we'd have a 3.0, so I have 1970, go all the way up to the 3, it's a little higher. How's that look? Pretty convincing? And then maybe let's do a 2.6, so 1974, so if this is my 1975, a little bit less than that, up to 2.6, that's going to be a little lower than my 2.8s. 74. And then we're running out of time, so maybe if we take those four dots, or whatever ones you have done, a lot of times they'll take and connect those with a line. But you want to make sure that you can still see those dots clearly, even with the line. Feel like you know enough to be dangerous? Yep. Okay.